Smith and Leovia. There is a saying in Uganda, throw a seed anywhere and it will grow. Rotarians from four continents came together in Entebbe to support three global grant vocational training teams. The goal is to teach and train professionals and students. The professionals go on to teach young students while the students become the seeds sown throughout Uganda. Now we know that glaucoma is damage to the optic nerve and that pressure is just a risk factor. Reaching out with a heart of service, this unprecedented multiple global grant is supported by eight Rotary districts. Work and friendship move forward through one-on-one -on -one training and practical working experience. Volunteers are strengthening the capacity of the Entebbe medical community in the areas of dental, medical, and vision. Every morning, continuing educational presentations are given, then the practicums. This young mother brings her child in with fever, thinking it might be malaria. What does he have on his back? That's chicken pox. In one remote location accessed by ferry, an unresponsive stroke victim is examined and carried to a waiting bus where she's transported to the Entebbe Hospital. She made a life-saving recovery thanks to the Rotary Medical Team. In Uganda, 65% of the population is under the age of 18, and with an employment rate of 20%, there are tremendous challenges to provide even the basic needs like clean water, nutrition, and health care, especially mother and child health care. Malaria is the number one killer in Uganda. This grant provides 2,000 mosquito nets personally assembled and delivered by Rotarians. This 18-year-old mother has two children and with no government support, relies on friends and family for survival. Malaria kills so many infants and since most parents can, cannot afford the mosquito nets, we've given them out so that it can reduce on their costs and be able to live a happy life. mother of four. She's getting four nets for her children and her husband. So she will be able to take the children to school without any interferences of malaria. She's really grateful for the nets she's receiving. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Rotary mosquito nets provide a baseline in protection. The issue is that very many children get sick and the hospitals, they sometimes there is no medicine. And the cost of treatment is sometimes very expensive, whereby most locals cannot afford to buy medicine outside the government hospitals. Thank you. At a remote school, as physicians treat patients, students line up for a hearty lunch. The students are encouraged to wash first as the meal is consumed in the traditional way, by hand. Here's how they addressed water needs. They get an awful lot of rain in Uganda, so they're able to use that rainwater to their advantage. What comes off the roof goes into this pipe and into a gutter, goes into this storage tank. And this is what they primarily use for cooking, for washing, and sometimes for drinking. It comes out of the taps right down here. The dental team gives plenty of information on basic identification methods and new techniques. A new way to perform root canals is heartily endorsed. Den Spli of York donated more than $13,000 worth of equipment and supplies. Dentists work together to identify needs and deliver the proper procedures. A new fully equipped dental room is dedicated by incoming presidential nominee for international rotary. It's a great pleasure that you bring the values of rotary alive in this room, in this hospital. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
At the same time, the vision team provides training on various topics. Rotary gets the word out on free vision services, and they work tirelessly to screen and provide the correct vision care. Demand is strong because most locals have never seen an eye doctor. A young man approached who looked very troubled to have an eye exam, and what he told me he was trying to go to college, but his eyes were so poor, he could only read materials that, material that was a few inches away from his eyes. And he had never been to an eye doctor, and he wondered if we could help. After his eye exam, looking at the charts, he could not read a single letter. So his, his concerns were totally justified. And I mentioned to him that very likely when he was prescribed, prescription glasses by our team, he would be able to see so much better. And the look of hope on his face that overcame the look of despair was, was really quite amazing. And yes, he did go on to get glasses. And yes, he will be going to college. Africa's albino population has been under pressure for many years as some are attacked for their body parts, seen as good luck and sold on the black market for decades. Even previously, they used to kill them and they, they thought that there is a stone in their brain. That is what they take and when you take it to Tanzania, they become rich. So they take some of their parts and then they take them to witch doctors for, for prosperity purposes and other issues. Albinos have other medical needs. Dr. Robert McLenathan invited the local albino association to have their special eye problems addressed. You keep looking far away and then you tell me if this helps at all. We're picking out the frame for her prescription that will then get me um, and then they'll be able to pick them up in about two weeks time and they'll be custom made. Mother of an albino child shares her message. They are very wise children, and it's a blessing to have one. They should associate with them with other children. They should not neglect them or abandon them because they have this color. They are like other children. VTT team members are passionate problem solvers, reaching hands around the globe to make life better one by one. Thank you for coming. I'm really grateful to, to see you here. Host Rotary Club Nkombo provides exemplary local guidance and support even in its fledgling first three years. Now, well, uh, what I would like to say first of all is to thank the international team that travel all the way from Brazil, Denmark and the United States for the wonderful job they've done for bringing the expertise down to Entebbe and working from early in the morning, 7 in the, in the morning and even finishing as late as 7.30 in the night that their energy has been amazing and we want to thank them very much and invite them again to Uganda. And once again, I want to thank for uh, the, uh, the Rotary International uh, for the grant, uh, especially for the dental chair and the dental surgery unit that's now established that will boost uh, the capacity in Entebbe Hospital by 50%. And of course, the doctors that have been able to be trained and there will be better doctors today and in the future. Uganda is an amazing mission. A successful VTT is like planting a tree. First, you have to cultivate with training, water with practical experience, nurture with understanding, grow in the sunlight of service, share hearts and minds bearing fruit today and for many years to come. As past International President Arch Klump said 100 years ago, the Rotary Foundation will support Rotarians doing good in the world. His own Rotary Foundation seed of $26.50 has grown into a forest and continues to grow and propagate good in hearts and minds throughout the globe.